Okay, hello, good afternoon. Uh, here's another Dynamo tutorial. So, in this video, we're going to automate the manhole or inspect inspector chamber for the manhole. And then, we automate the placement of manhole. And then the pipe also slope, we automate also. Okay, so this one. So, this one currently, I just created a script. I researched maybe uh, how many days? Uh, two days. Uh, two days. This one. You research. This one. So, yeah. The, the process for this one is uh, place a line, and then after placing a data line, automatically. It will place when you run dynamo it will place all those manhole and then the pipes although the pipes is not yet connected but as you can see it's perfectly in the correct spot so i'll show you the automation process now okay so let's create a new one okay and just select select this one create similar so let's say we have here approximately 8 meters 9 then you if you want shorter also you can make also and let's say you also make it longer and then you create a here 45 9 meters just an example okay and this one so just okay or maybe this one should be show you the all the, the sloping of the pipes so after that i have already here the create man, manhole final select this one to edit so i'll show you also the script uh, it's a little um what look like a uh, wire mesh but you can just screen capture it and then copy and then you can now create uh, automatic uh, manhole placement and pipe sloping connected. So in here, uh, I think I already selected the manhole. And then first story level, okay, the diameter 150. Okay, this is important uh, for the start point, for the top level of the manhole. You should set it first correctly. Then the following uh, series of, of the manhole it already calculated by Dynamo. So I think uh, the parameter is IL, it's correct. And then as you should select play. And then you just select the man uh, line, data line. Okay. Okay, there you go. And then it's hit escape. And then boom. It will place, I hope it's, I will just place this one. So let's check here in the section. So as you can see here, I will close this one. So it's perfect from start. And then the sloping is also uh, one, one, it's, it's a little minor uh, ch changes. But as you can see, more or less it's in the center. I don't know why this one. Oh, okay. Okay, wow, well, I don't know why it's showing like this, but let's create again maybe a straight line. Uh, I don't know why it's showing like that. Maybe I have only a few. Okay, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Select again this one, this one, this one, this one. It will be. So, as you can see here, if it's straight line, so it's perfect here, it's mostly perfect for the offset. Um, uh, why it will go here? So, anyway. 
So you can just connect that one into the bottom. But as you can see, most of it is working fine here and here. So the depth of this one is 247. Maybe I will create a. Okay, here's another automation. Uh, this is an automatic placement of manhole. So I will open my Dynamo. This one, select Dynamo. So this process will automate the placement of all the manhole in the site plan and then also the pipe sloping. Automatic. So let's start first with the demonstration then I'll show you the script later on. So let's start with the basic, this one. So if I run the Dynamo, okay, and then select the detail lines, okay, please escape. It's reading, so let's place here a section, and then go to section, just hide this one. So don't worry about this one. We'll just have to rerun this one. It's normal. I already found a solution. So in here, we just have to um, check this one. And then run again. Okay. And then select. Because we are running uh, multiple uh, sequence of command. So run again. It will go now into the correct sloping so my slope this one we can specify so this is 1 is to 90 this one is select see 1 is to 90 sloping and this one also okay and as you can see this one will um, offset the invert level or ta and top level top le level is uh, fixed this map is 14.25 so it depends on you how you place your top level and the IL invert level that will be the uh, automated uh, deduction so for example this one the formula is that from here uh, you get the length of the line then divide by 90 then that will be your um, subtractor to to here or to this uh, offset so if you subtract that one the length of the pipe minus uh, divide by 90 because 90 is sloping then uh, you will get in the next invert level this will be your IL so one 111.77 something okay so as you can see watching 3d it will follow okay it's not just a straight line we can also run again dynamo so this one uh, i will just hide this one i will select again another data line so example this one so i took me like three days three days to <laughs> to uh, come up this output or solution so you just research in the dynamo beam organization dynamo org okay and then escape so let's check here in 3d if it's working also so as you can see it will uh, okay there's a little Again, uh, you, I have to just rerun this one in Dynamo. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, this one. I will just... Sometimes you will have error. Then I will just have connect and run again. So it will connect now into the correct offset. So, but this one is not connected. But as you can see, it's perfectly in the connector so it's easier to connect now so 
it's not important if you can connect but if you check the all this this one is approximately in the bottom here you can offset also so that's i think uh, one of the a few scripts that i created uh, using research only so somehow we're getting a progress in our dynamo automations so the script okay i forgot the script before we this is the script no don't ask for the script guys just research okay screen capture this one okay this part screen capture this one no no, no not needed this one okay and then next it will go from from okay then it will go here we'll get the length i oh, sorry we'll get the length of the pipe or the detail lines then you have the formula length is divided by 90 this is the 90 will be the gradient it depends on you so this is just typical then you have to divide by a thousand also because of the formula in the family manual family so after that then you go here um, this is the family by uh, point and level point see this one family point point by level so that one uh, up to here you can screen capture this one it will work placing all the data line it will auto automatically run now you can place dynamo at the center to center of the uh, edge of the line but for the pipe it's a little complicated so you have to complete the screen capture so okay that's another one then in here okay let me just close it here okay this is the next after the family instance so you will get now you will set the pipe invert and tap start point and in point of the pipe okay then next you have to get the point one but if this is a total point you see it's all the point here okay screen capture that one then this is the time you create a like a net fish 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 net okay going here you get item of zero then you will create a list create then then before you go that here okay screen capture this one okay so it's just this get get items now this one is just this is just a series of uh, this is a start point you must set first then after that all the rest will follow so minus it by the divisor point eleven point ten so this one then this will be your um what's you call this divisor and then you feed this one to here the value so that you will place the invert level uh the correct number of invert level to the family okay then after that one go here this will be the piping number to string points by coordinate i change the z point if you for the piping okay and then in here typical grouping of the end start and end points and then in here um, so you have to clean then this one pipe by lines this one not needed you can remove this one okay so then that's it 